This class is intentionally going in the freshman level. It is the very first thing that you should watch. Okay? It's the very first thing that you should watch. Very first thing. This is how you retire with the ATS Business Network. Yes. And it's split in two pieces. Okay? It's split in two pieces. The how you retire and the three, three, and three technique. For the next two hours, we're going in great detail. The how you retire part is both parts. Am I understood? Let's give him some headphones. We got, we got an extra pair of headphones? No? Just put on. Uh, okay. You got extra pair. Oh, you got your AirPods. Yeah, yeah. Get the headphones. Now, both elements are how you retire. I need you to understand this. One is a business system. The second is a business system. One is, the second is for lead generation. The first is for money. I need you to get this. First is for money. Second is for lead generation, which leads back to money. Now, let's talk about the first. You must do exactly what I say. On a piece of paper or your note app on your phone, however you want to do it, you're going to write down numbers 1 through 10. Or actually, I can say it this way. 10 through 9, 10 through 1. In descending order, 10 at the top. Nine, eight, seven, six, all the way to one. Okay. Ten, all the way to one. On number 10, Robin, you're going to write your largest expense. If you're in a car, you better watch the replay. If you're a passenger in the car, use your note app. But if you want financial freedom, with the ATS Business University Network. This is what you're going to do. And you're going to teach it to the people that come in by telling them, watch the video titled, How to Retire with the ATS Business University Network in the freshman course. All of you clap right now for Daryl, because Daryl suggested I do it. Okay. Daryl saw the key things that just amazed him early on and said it should be in a freshman course, and I totally agree with him. As I'm talking, you're getting 10 through 1. If you have more than 10, don't try to be fancy. Just go with 0 0.9, 0 0.8. Point seven. after you get the one, right? Just to start making it less than whole numbers. What do you call those? Integer is a whole number. Imaginary number. No, no. It's not imaginary. Imaginary not until you get the negatives. Decimals. We're going to call them decimals. The imaginary numbers don't exist. That's the negative stuff. The decimals. If you get the one, you're going to point nine, point eight, point seven. Please hear it me. If you think you know what I'm doing, you do not. Okay? I'm telling you how I retired. Allow the information to come in. 10 all the way to 1. I'm going to go slow enough. John Nowinski, let me know what number you're on. Uh, you know, I'm in a strange place in, in that. How do I put this? My wife has been awesome in managing our money. So our expenses is just basically living. So anything Good. above that is bonus points. Uh, I mean, Good. it's generally food, utilities, uh, you know, and that. And that's kind of where we're nice. at. Good. That's nice. That's good. That the universe made me calling you. So here's what I want you to do. I want you to imagine someone in $100,000 in debt. Give them a neighborhood, and I want you to write down 10 expenses for them. Because you don't need this, but you're going to need to teach it. 
Okay. So good stuff for you. Because I'm in that same situation. I don't have expenses. Now, 10 all the way to 1. I'm going to give you some memory joggers that will bless you. If you're just logging on, this is the most important class that you're going to have. This is called How You Retire with the APS Business University Network. If you have a job and you wish to retire, this is it. It's split in two sections. How you retire and the three, three, and three technique. <clears throat> On a piece of paper, you're going to write down 10 all the way to one. Can I see your paper? Is this it? Just to show you. You won't be able to see it too well, but you can see. It doesn't have to be fancy. You just get that done. Now, follow Tony instructions or lose is what he has on his paper. Okay, let me do it real quick. Hey, uh, yeah. Now, you're going to put your mortgage, $10,000, because I live in California, Maui. A month, right? <laughs> A month. <laughs> then you're going to put your car, your car insurance, maybe. You get it? Your kids' college fund. Yeah. Everybody follow me? Your medical student insurance. loan. Yes, your medical insurance. You get it? Keep, keep, keep throwing stuff at me because that's good. Because you're helping people do memory. Your credit card bill. Yes. What you utilities. Now, put, now, put on the mic. Put on. Utilities and groceries. What if you don't have an expense, but you want one? Put it down. Good question. Good question. If you don't have an expense and you want one, put it down. That may be your RV. I know you like that. So you get it? Maybe you want to spend $20. Excuse me, not $20. Maybe you want to spend $200. No, no, no. $2,000 a month in traveling. Put it down. Put it down. If you want to travel the world like Robin and you want to do $2,000 a month and you plan on that being your monthly expense, write that down. Put it on the mic. Put it on the mic. Hold on. Say what? Yes. Yeah. 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 Now, 10 to 1. And then if you get past 1.9, 0 0.8, 0 0.7, all that stuff. By now, all of you should have something. If you don't, let me know. This is so important. Please be in harmony and let me know. Is any, yes. I just came home. What are y'all talking about here? Good morning, everyone. <laughs> Go get you a pen and piece of paper. This is the most important class that you will take. It is in the freshman level. It is in the freshman level. And it is going to be the first things we're going to teach. I'm teaching it to you now. You're going to duplicate this cycle. Everybody got me? If you desire to retire, the only thing you have to do is make sure your expenses don't outweigh your income, your passive income. It can't be your income. If you're working for the money, you can't retire. If you're trading time for money, you can't leave your job. It has to be passive income, residual, royalty, mailbox money that comes every month. Okay? I'm going to repeat it again because lots of people are coming on. And, and, and it's, it's crazy. The faces I'm seeing coming on need to hear this information. This is the most important class. I'm teaching you how to retire with the ACS Business University Network. It's split in two pieces. Three and three, excuse me, three and three technique is the second half. The 10 through this one right now is the first half. You're taking your topic fits in descending order. Number 10, mortgage. Probably most of you. And then John has fantastic suggestions. Utilities, medical expenses, insurance, keynote policy insurance. That's, that one, that's, somebody, that's something like me and Tempest. And I don't think many of y'all have that problem. A keynote Key life, what is it called? Key life insurance. Anyway, it means that Tempest is so important to the organization that if she die, I have an insurance policy on her so we don't go out of business. 
So Pam Norris, you need that. So what? What I go ahead, did, go ahead, John. So what I did, given that I don't really, I'm in an awesome place. I just remember growing up and the struggles that we went through. Like the one time we were living in a hotel waiting for on base housing, and my brother and I went to the local grocery store. And we all were, and we had a dollar to buy hamburger meat for six people. And we got excited because we found another dollar on the ground. And we're able to actually buy two pounds of hamburger meat that night for six people. And we ate like kings. So I just remembered back to growing up in a military family with eight kids, which brings back 10 to 1. Yeah. Wow. That's, you sounded like a black kid in the urban area and neighborhood. You grew up like me. <laughs> you need <eating> spam. <laughs> Good stuff, man. Good stuff. I'm glad you're in a great place right now. Daryl, I'm going to need your help for this next part. Briefly, can you tell them, all of you should be done by now, can you tell them as, custom, as they refer someone for free can you explain to them the process of referring someone for free and how much they would make per person they refer? Absolutely. So each time you refer a customer to the network, because it's free for the first month, the next month the, on the basic product is $19.99. So each time you do that, you make 50% of that. So you get ten dollars. The company gets nine ninety nine or nine ninety seven, whatever we decide on. That is that it? Absolutely, that's it. Now, Daryl, do they have to sell anything? No, there's no selling involved, and I I, I want to say there's no sharing involved. To to that degree, it really isn't. It's just about giving information away. But I don't when I say share, because that word is used in network marketing to replace saying you got to sell. So in the sense, right. of, you know what I'm saying? So you do have to mm -hmm. share the information in that sense, but there's no direct selling involved at all. Absolutely. And the, the way we have it set up, how many people do they need to talk to to get this done? Well, let's, let's, let's see if they want to... Um, I mean, verbally talk. I mean, literally outside oh, okay. their vocal right. cords and talk. Nobody. That's what I wanted to hear. All right. That's, did y'all hear that? You don't have to open your mouth. Get it? Okay, Grace is, Grace is classic. If you are afraid of sales, we've wiped sales out the picture. Now, once you understand that, here's what you're gonna do now. Everyone go to your number one. Now you're gonna go in ascending order. Number one, someone give me an example of their number one. Okay, Michelle wants to go. Rent, it's rent, $500. Very much. So we got $500. That's her, her lifestyle is so glamorous. Her rent is the least of these problems, okay? That was like, I wish $500 was a rent issue for me. $500 in California. You can't yeah, I was going to say, you can't rent a room for that's five room. That's a whole deal. Jeez. You can't even you can't even be a roommate for five hundred dollars. Oh, you go up to Austin. Walker. <laughs> you go up to Austin and John say, Hey John, can I can I sleep in your guest room for five hundred dollars? Uh, I'll think about it. You know, he at least he'll think about it. He, it's a possibility. In Texas, it's good. I'll good give you all, all right. I'll, I'll rent my room. I've got a spare bedroom. I'll rent it for five hundred. See? Take it. That's Texas. He's ready for five hundred. Now, if he was in California, he'd be like, I, I, can't, I can't. You know, bread is five hundred. <laughs> <You know? laughs> All right, good stuff. Now, here's what you're gonna do for Michelle at five hundred. Daryl, I'm gonna need your help again. How many customers? Down to starting to get it. How many customers does Michelle need to replace her rent? 10. No, 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 no. 10. No, no, 20. 10. 20. 20 customers. Hold on, hold on. Let me do 20. that again. Five. 
No, it's 50. It's 50. It's 50. 50 customers. 50 customers. 50. 50. Okay, 50. 5 0. She would need 50 customers, okay, to replace her rent. 50 customers. What I'm not mentioning here is that's replacing her rent every single month. Pay attention to yes, yes. Very skipper. Very skipper. And Daryl already told you, you don't have to open your mouth, you don't have to say nothing, you don't have to sell nothing, etc. And it's free for 30 days. And you already love the product because you're in it. You get it? It's a twenty thousand dollar product we're letting go for nineteen ninety nine. Now, let's just scratch that for a second. I don't want to do that training. I'm just showing you the name of this class is How to Retire with the ATS Business University Network. Dave, I can feel his energy. He's all in. He's, he's all in. <laughs> he's all in. Now, do me a favor. Someone put this in chat. If I say something important, put it in the chat for the people who will come later. Someone give me an example of your number nine. Okay, Deanna wants to go. I have a cell phone bill at 180. Uh, yeah. Just take the zero off of 180, that's 18. There it is. And that's what you're going to do. So Deanna gets the picture. What you're going to do is from 10 all the way, excuse me, from one all the way up to 10, you're going to write how many customers you need to get, get, get it done. How many customers? Write that down. If you're just getting on, this is the most important class I have ever taught, and it's the most important class you have attracted this year. It is how to retire with the ATS Business Network. Okay? There is no selling. There is no nothing. But that's not the point here. The point here is we're building a business system to take care of Antonio? No, you. This is your bill, not mine. Now, if financial freedom is not part of your why, at least you don't have to have a job no more. Wish I had some money. Gotcha. Okay, Michelle, you know what? Let me unmute your mic, Michelle, and share these tears with us. Tell us what's going on inside of you right now. This is so easy. It's easy. It's simple. That you don't have to be business savvy to figure this out. That you don't have to have any degrees to get to a income of a degreed person. I think um, it's just, it's freedom, it's rest, it's rest. That was said far better than I could ever say it. Now let me pause real quick. Right now, while I'm talking, go from 10, excuse me, go from one up to 10 and write how many customers it would take. And, and please know I'm doing something far greater than what you think I'm doing. But just write those down. I'm going to pause right here. At the 18 minute market, yes, with, well, no, no, no. If you're going to do that, do it on the mic. Okay? So this is uh, 60,000. That's, that's 6,000. You need 6,000 customers. She had a 60,000 bill. Let me say that right now. Some of you have this enormous amount of debt. It's not monthly, but you want to take out the whole debt. One of his was 60,000. One of those fancy houses, right? Now, you just take off the zero. He needs 6,000 to replace this mass, his number one debt. You get it? And don't get it twisted, all of you, if you are above the age of 22, you got a $60,000 debt somewhere or it's coming. So they don't let you live in America for free or in the world. Deepak Chopra says it best. We are the only species on planet Earth that pays to be here. Now, 
let me pause now. At the 19 minute mark, I want to say something different. If you are like John and you don't need to retire, but your mom does, I'm talking now, pay attention. Write down her expenses in descending order from 10 to one. Just because you don't need it, Antonio, doesn't mean someone you love doesn't need it. Now pay attention to what I'm about to say next. At the 19 minute mark, you should go back and rewind this at the 19 minute mark to get this message. I love the lady who adopted me. Her name is Lucy Elizabeth Smith. She is as crazy as she is kind. If you know her, that makes sense. <clears throat> she is garbage with money. Always has been, always will be. She doesn't even want to get better at money, but she wants financial freedom. Listen to what I'm saying. I'm saying something powerful. She is obviously a baby boy. She is 60, 60-ish, she's 60 something. And she's the youngest girl in the family of eight. And right now, she is in the lower middle class and has worked for a job for over 30 years, for the courthouse for over 30 years. She will never, Daryl, she will never, ever, ever get it. She is the fulfillment of the poor would be with you always. She don't have to get it, because I get it. And for her, I am doing the 10 to the 1 on her behalf and saying, do this, get it here, follow this. I'm saying something very powerful. Some of you, it ain't you that need to be fixed and retired. It's someone you love very much that happens to be in a mindset or generation where this information was never given to them. Or it's too late for them. They were taught, go to school, get a good job, and wait till you're 65 to retire. She's 63. She gets to retire in two years, but she will retire broke and have only 17 months of retirement in her account. How many people do you know like that? Exactly. If you know someone like that, it, and can I be honest with you? It's, and Jerome said it's me. <laughs> if you know someone like that, now forget, I'm going to let Jerome talk here in a second. And I'll be honest with you. It's about 87% of the middle class. So if you can't do it for you or don't have to, Uncle Jerome needs it done for him. Aunt Lucy needs it done for her. Do you understand what I'm saying? If you want the loved one that you love so much not to have stress anymore, write this down and teach it to them. Do you understand what I'm saying? Bring them in as a customer. In this place, you never need to be uh, Jerome or Denise Hill. You never need to be an ambassador. You can do this as a customer. Yo. Yes, 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 yes. Okay, you get it. So I'm going to let you talk real quick. And Jerome, I'm coming to you. Time out. Wait. So, I, I've dealt with multi level marketing to a little bit. Network marketing a little bit. I've been introduced to it, let me say it like that. Um, but you're saying with this business, with this network, that 
All I have to do is look at the amount of people that I want to replace the bill with, send them a free video, and everything take care of itself, and I still get paid for them. Yeah. It's never been done before. And don't forget 30 days free. Now, I don't want to go into that because that's a different training. Jerome, when I said 17 months left of retirement, that hit me. I need for you because they don't, some of them don't believe you because they, they're not old enough or they don't get it or they live with their mama. They just don't get it. Okay? I need you for me to explain to them how real that situation is. <laughs> it's extremely real for me because I sat down here and I wrote it down, just like you said, do it, Antonio. And I need 750 customers to be out of debt. That's what I need. 700. Now, watch this here. I'm glad you said that. I'm glad you said that. Now, watch this here. Okay. Hold on, mute your mic just for a second and I'm coming right back to you then I'm gonna come to John Nowinski next. I'm glad you said that because I did more than that. Y'all got it, Jerome got it, but I did more than that. What I did was I created you 10 streams of income hmm. monthly. Jerome thinks he needs 750. What I want you to do is I want you to add up all those customers. Oh. Yes, the truth is somewhere around one to six you'll have enough customers to take care of all those bills. But if you do what I said, you get that 750 like Jerome said, not only will you take care of all your bills on the way, I'm changing your tax bracket for life. 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 You understand? You understand life. And if you're an ambassador, well, let me, let me not do that. Actually, I am going to do it. If, you, if you're an ambassador, it's willable, sellable, and transferable down to your children. Wait, go ahead, Daryl. I know, I know you want to say something. I, I just wanted you, if you could, when you say down through the sixth level, you've taken care of most of your bills, you know, I have in my mind what you're thinking about. I'm not sure that's coming across real clear because of what happens with your customers. Is that what you're saying? Okay. Yes. Yes. Let's do this very practically. Let's forget a customer does anything. Okay. Let's forget a customer does nothing. Am I? A customer does nothing. Let's just forget that for a second. The customer's going to do great stuff, but if they do nothing, let me, let me use yours real quick. Where, where's your number one? Let's, I'll make it up. No, you, ha you had 500 you needed, right? So that's 50. That's going to be 50 at number one. And then at number two, it's going to be 60 you need. But now that's 110 customers, isn't it? I'm telling you, start back over each time. Get 50 for one level and then go 60 for number nine. And then go, so, so do, do your calculator for me. If your customers never do anything, and I'm glad Darrell asked this question. 50 on level 10 plus 60 on level nine plus 100 or level eight. Plus, someone give me their real level eight. Someone give me their real level seven. How many do you need on level seven? So I want someone to give me a real. How many customers do you need on level seven? Thirty. Okay, you got thirty. Someone with a real seventy-five. Okay, you need seventy-five. All right, so we'll take seventy-five. Seventy-five on level whatever level seven. A hundred and twenty-five on level six. How many customers do I have so far? I have 410 customers so far. Do you see what I'm doing? I, each one of them are streams of income. I now have 410 customers, 410 customers times 10 a month, 
that's four thousand one hundred dollars a month coming in. Jerome, will that bless you? And your current finance? No, no. Speak, speak, so they can. I need, I need the people to come behind you. Oh, that will absolutely bless me. Hello. Now it, it's not enough to retire him because he needs to get to seven fifty. Right. But does four thousand work for you? And do you see some of you when you when he if I keep going at this rate, by the time I get to level and I don't mean I'm I'm using the wrong word, I'm sorry. Forget now that's the levels of the company. I'm staying away from that conversation. Okay, stay away from that conversation. That's a different training. The levels on your piece of paper. I'm saying ten is level ten, one is level one, if you had to go past point nine. That's what I mean by levels. So I'm sorry for using that loaded network marketing word. I don't mean the levels of the company. I mean levels on your paper, okay? What happens is you're gonna to get to what Jerome says, 750 customers. But remember this here, here's why I'm saying you retire. Because the residual stays, the expenses cease to exist. Listen, listen to me. You need 750 now. Paid off. Once it's paid off, you don't have that house note no more. Hmm. Hmm. You understand? Some bills you do. So you keep your cell phone bill. You keep your rent if it's rent. But if you put a debt down there, Brian has a $60,000 debt. Once you put that debt down there, it's gone forever. Now that $60,000 snowballs up like Dave Ramsey would teach, snowballs up to your financial freedom. If you simply, got you, give me a second. If you simply follow your own 10 through 1, I gave you your business system for financial freedom. Go ahead, Talisha. So when it comes to retirement, you just choose the amount of money you want to retire on and what age? Because I haven't thought that far. Well, that's why, you have, that's why you're not retired, because you haven't thought that far. So let's get you thinking that far. <laughs> it's more than just choosing. But let's say you're someone that has no expenses whatsoever. In this case, you do get to choose. If you have no expenses, you are a college student and you're staying with your mom, or you are a stay-at-home wife, even then you'll have expenses. So I'm, it's, stay at home mom is a hard, hard job. That's a really hard job. It really is. So shout out to anyone who stays at home with their kids. It's a hard job. It really is. But you have expenses because they got to eat. Don't they? Those kids got to eat. You're spending groceries. You know what? Let me push this further. If you get food stamps, you need to write this down on your list because that ain't your money. And at some point, it's going to be taken from you. So put down your food stamps and prepare for a time when you can afford your own food and cash. Well, I just said something. Okay. Grace says PF changes the habit. If you like to, for some of you, you have a wine expense. You like your wine and you can be your wine collector. Put that down because it's a part of your life. Here's what I'm trying to tell you. It's not, I don't care about what you do with your life. I'm building you a business system around the luxuries and necessities that you want, need, and have. John and Winston, let me call on you real quick before I go too far and miss the energy you want to put out here. Well, I'm taking this in two approaches in that I'm thinking back to my childhood and growing up and the fact that my, basically, till my dad passed away, they just lived paycheck to paycheck. And, That's but right. I mean, they had a smile on their face. So, I mean, I, that transitions to where I am in that the race to 5,000, what it, what it really means is $5,000 that I could have outside of having a job. And what that meant was when my dad came to me and he said, really, what are you doing with it? That was when I looked at our bank account and I realized at that moment, we did have 5,000 a month of revenue that we had saved up over the years in our account 
And that's when I said, I'm done. So the other approach I'm taking is that I want to continue running that race to 5,000. So for me, the, the revenue stream I need is the $5,000 because that's my, shall we say, mission statement. And everything above there and beyond go. that is just bonus points. But in my head, there you go. I'm thinking the 5,000 because that's the race that's I'm right. running. Nothing wrong with that. You need 500 customers. Now, let's, there's so much, everybody listen to me. There's so much he said that I want to address, and I'm going to call on Michelle here in a second. That's Texas he's talking about. He needs, you, you understand in Maui, that 5,000 won't work. So Pam would have already adjusted for the cost of living and turned his 5,000 into 15,000. You understand what I'm saying? That's why this is individualized to each different person. That's number one. John is absolutely 100% unequivocally correct for Austin, Texas. This is, I'm stressing to you the importance of your own piece of paper you just wrote down. That's number one. Number two, if you want to live check to check, that's fine. This isn't the business university that's going to preach or teach that. Do you understand? There is a motivational speaker on stage that would love for you to be a part of his audience. You understand? That's not just, we're not here for that. I can't stress this enough. My job is to teach you how not to live check to check. And if you're a speaker, please know stage to stage is also check to check. If you're a graphic designer, please know graphic to graphic is also check to check. If you're a coach or a trainer, please know client to client is also check to check. The great philosopher Tiffany S. Smith says entrepreneurs are simply employees that traded check to check from job to job or client to client in entrepreneur world. Same thing. You want to get out of that. You want to have money that comes in, pay attention, without your energy. You get it? And the last thing that John said that I really love that he said, I, I just, I, I love it to death. Let, let's recap. This is for you to make your money, period. This is not the place for you to be check to check. You understand what I'm saying? He said the most popular, most popular thing he said to me was, my dad had his job with a smile on his face. The goal is to be like John's dad and have a smile on your face. If you're like John, now I want you to hear what John was actually saying. And if I get $5,000, I'd be just like, who? My dad. Why? Because if he gets the money he needs residually, it means anything John has to do is because he wants to do it. Do you, you understand this? Here? He wants to do it. You understand? He's no longer trapped to do it. He wants to do it, and that's the difference between John's dad and many people out there in America. Get it? Okay, Michelle, you had a question. Well, after after you said that, it's not really a question. It was I was going to say. So, do you want to have a minimum amount of customers that you want to get every? every month but why limit yourself yeah so that's, that's it mute your mic ladies and gentlemen the name of this class is how to retire with the ats business university network i'm not trying to give you a minimum i said you this is individualized if you took this seriously it's you, yours. The minimum is what you wrote on your paper. Do you understand? The minimum is what you wrote on your paper. Dara, before we, before, I need your help right here, Dara. I need you to talk about the customers, what they're gonna do, but before that though, tell them the significance of this plan 
individualized to them versus anything else that would be taught. Okay, well, let me make sure I understand the question. When you say anything else being taught, you mean other marketing plans? That'll work too, yes, yeah, sure. Other marketing plans. Not to, I'm not trying to throw a shot at nobody. We're talking about financial freedom, and everyone's not hearing financial freedom. Okay, well, let me, let me just take this approach, because uh, the, the customers that we're building, no matter whether we're working for someone or not, and I don't want to take this too far out of bounds, but I just want to say this. Whether you're working with someone or not or working for someone or not, you're actually getting customers for them. Your job is to help that company get customers, whether you're indirectly selling that customer or you're supporting that company and getting customers. So you're getting customers anyway. So what this plan allows you and what you, you're you doing for yourself. So if you know your numbers or what they are, you need for, in my case, it's 402 customers. So the interesting thing about that, it's not as difficult as you may think, if you think it's difficult. If you're thinking in your mind that, well, this is going to take a while. And if you've had experience in direct sales before, it will take you a while because in most cases, that 10% is about a quarter percent. So it would take you years to get to the amount of residual income. We're only talking about direct sales income now. You, you've, not, you've not even mentioned what's on the back end of that customer. That's a direct sale. But the back end is paying you as well. So looking at other uh, companies and what they pay, it would take you forever to get there. So comparing that to what we have in the simple marketing system to get there, in addition to how customers bring you customers, it really becomes a no-brainer. It's almost you given this plan, but it's not really because the part, the other part of the training that supports the plan is not, you're not, you're not telling them about that. Right. On purpose. I get it. On purpose. It. On yeah. purpose. Cause I'm not even trying to make this a class about promoting what we're doing. Sure. I'm making this a class about your financial freedom. Well, I'll add this. So yep. when I was in other companies, we were, we would always tell people, to go get an X amount of customers a month. And let's just say most of it was like 10 or 12 customers. That's not enough to really do anything. If you look at 10 customers and the product is, your commission is what, 1% of that? How long would it take you to get there? So when you look at, this is a plan that tells you exactly what you need to retire. No one does that. I don't know if that answers the question or not, but I'm trying not no, to. No, that's exactly what it is. No, that's but exactly what it is. It's powerful. exactly. If it's not really about selling, it's, it's about getting information to someone. And everyone on this class right now, or in this class, agrees that this is a great class. Now, it's only now a matter of all the people you know knowing that this is a great class. And once they do, they're going to give you $19 and they uh, give the company $19. And then out of that $19, 10 is going to go in your bank account. And literally it's basically that simple. That's simple. That's simple. Robin, only thing I'm talking about is how to make you travel the world, send your daughter off to college, whatever it is that you want to do. Michelle, only thing I'm talking about is because you always ask me, Michelle, I just can't see it. Can you just write it down for me and tell me what to do? I just did. I just did. I just said, here's your roadmap to your financial freedom. Not by my desire, Jerome. I didn't say, Jerome, I'm smart. Listen to me. I said, Jerome, you have expenses. Write them down. Let's build a business system around those expenses. There is nothing about this class, about me, of the ATS Business University. Nothing. Listen to the title. How you can retire by leveraging what I built. Did y'all hear that? That's your system. If you do that, please know the money is monthly. 
That means if you currently have a job, you're still going to keep all that income. Or if you own a business, this is income on the side of that that replaces your income. Now, if you want, to, no, but that's not a problem. Robin says she needs 50K a month. That's not a problem. <laughs> Real talk, that's not a problem. You now know how many customers you need. So what you do, Robin, is you're not going to celebrate when you go, yay, got me a thousand. You have loftier goals. 50,000 a month don't fit everybody on this call. John said, man, give me a hundred Civic fully loaded and $5,000. Because I'm good. I ain't got nothing to prove. I'm past that age. That's fair. I mean, I'm right with the exception of the Honda Civic. He ain't mentioned that. But other than that, John's like, I ain't got nothing to prove. We good. So extra five thousand dollars to let me do what I want to do. I spend my time recruiting the nightclubs, looking for my next artist. That's why he lives in Austin? Go ahead, John. I'll be the call on you next anyway. So, so really, ultimately, what many are overlooking is that it's not only financial freedom. But in, like in my case, it's emotional freedom. I mean, you, Come can on, have, John. you can have all your expenses covered and everything. However, if you're not really living the life you want, you, you're not living. You're just going through the motions. So it, it, it's much more than just covering all your expenses. It's covering your mental state of mind. And that's where I am. And that's what I'm trying to teach others that you need to be at. I mean, we can all get to a point where we cover all our bills, but do you really want to be where I was getting up every day going, oh my God, it's another day in hell and listening to a song called Sanitarium, you know, mm. to get through the day. No, you want your dad waking you up in the middle of the night going, really dude, is this is all you got in your life? Really? Just go for it, you know? And, mm. and I'm actually interviewing for a job today, which is a company which is looking to make changes in the world. And it's like the universe said, we're not going to give you all those other jobs you interviewed for because we were waiting for you to catch up with us. So this afternoon, I have an interview with a company that their mission statement is, how can we make a difference in the world? Congrats, brother. Congrats. Let's clap for John. Congrats, brother. Good stuff. Good stuff. Love it. Did y'all get that? Emotional freedom. That was incredible. Emotional freedom. Everybody got it? Emotional freedom. That's what we're talking about here, okay? That's what we're talking about. Financial and emotional freedom. If you have written all that down, there's one more thing here. Remember, you still got your job, yes? Still got, you still got your job or your business already. Robin's still making a billion dollars a month washing heads, okay? Twisting stuff up in, in people's heads. That's what she's doing. And she's making plenty of money with that. This is now extra money, right? That's residual, yes? Now, Brian, now Brian John just brought up emotional freedom, yes? There's one thing that's most important that's the unintended side effect. Don't forget the classes are teaching you how to be in the six to seven figure mark. You're still learning how to make your own business better, faster, more profitable. When Jerome says I need 750 customers, when he gets 750 customers, you can't forget he's taking classes. So when he tries to get 750 customers, he's going to accidentally get more than that because we're teaching him how to be the bionic man. We can rebuild him. I'm not that young, Jerome. I'm not that young. We can, we can rebuild him. We can make him better. Okay? Got it? All right. Any questions? Go, yeah, go, go ahead, Jerome. Uh, and for some reason, my, my, my whole... When, when um, Daryl got on, my whole thing just went crazy, but I turned it off and came back in. But but what I wanted to say was, 
when I wrote down the list like you told me to do, I immediately saw, Jerome, if you got these 750 customers coming in per month, your debt, everything that you need to spend in order to take care of you and your lifestyle is covered, period. And this goes back to, to Talisha. Well, that's just to take care of my expenses. That's not what I want to do in the future, and that's not my retirement. That's just to, so you're giving me a benchmark right now to start. There are other things I want to do beyond that that I need to acquire customers for, but that's just the start. And I love what you talked about when I pay some bills, that money that, that I was using before for those bills, that's gone because that was a one time, but my mortgage and whatever, I can pay my mortgage off and all that other stuff based on continuing to bring those customers in. So this is just the beginning. So I can understand Michelle crying because I was like, you know what? Uh-uh. I ain't got to talk to nobody. Now, Dirk, uh, uh, I'm telling you, you know I'm going to talk to people. You know I'm going to talk to people. I already know. I already know. <laughs> I already know. But I wasn't, again, I wasn't trying to use this yes. as a training about yes. how great we are. <laughs> I wanted you to know, here's a, who, who has ever had someone break it down like that for you? Nobody. No. You, you're not, well, forget, you can take it out of network marketing. Has, has anyone ever said, hey, Jerome, this is how I retired. I took all my expenses, I tracked them out, and I figured out how to eliminate my lowest expenses, my expense residually. Then I figured out another way how to do it. You, you know how I had to do it? I didn't have no network marketing to do it. I had to go get a, I had to go sell snow cones. I'm not even lying. I had to sell snow cones to get rid of my cricket bill at the time. I'm not kidding. I'm not kidding. I had to create business after business after business to take care of those expenses. I had to actually do it the harder way. I didn't have an Antonio Smith. And I was him trying to be him. Thank you, Antonio. I had to do yeah, I had to do it the hard way. <laughs> yeah, I had to do it the hard way. You can just use my energy. Go ahead, Daryl. That's interesting because that's exactly what I was getting ready to say, because people who have existing businesses right now can put this same model in place for them. You know, some of the things we have, you mentioned coaching, speaking, those things are from um, hero to zero. It happens every month, but the reality there's a part in those businesses that you can create residually. So this same applies for whatever you're doing in business. It's just a model. That's right. That's right. I'm glad he said that. Take what I just said for the network and then create you another list of what I just said for your own business and do it twice. Do it twice. But I'm, this is how I retired at 29. Okay, Michelle wants to shake my head. Yes. This is how I retired at 29. This is how I taught Tempest to retire and how I taught Deanna to retire. I'm serious. I, this is how I did it. Jerome, I wrote down all my expenses. For me, it just happened to be 10. That's why I just say do 10. I didn't try to make it 10. I just lived an average life to where I had about 10. And I'm telling for some of y'all, but you know, y'all don't know the struggle. My cell phone bill used to murder me every month. I'm going to just be real with you. My cell phone bill used to clobber me every month and there was another bill that just took me out every month the light bill because it ne was never the same i could never adjust to that light bill i wish i had some real middle class folks and know what i'm talking about it would just never be the same and i'm like okay i got it down to 200 and then boom like, come on when you're living on a budget an extra hundred dollars anywhere it hurts then when you one of your tires go out now you just took light bill money to replace four tires. I'm teaching you how not to get in that cycle no more. Yes, get on the mic. Okay, you said that if we wanted to travel and things like that, and how much we wanted to do a month, put that in there. So my next question, my question is, should we also do that for our... Uh, Investment accounts as well. Yeah, you should most. Um, you should like. 
If, yes, you should most certainly use it for your investment account. Investments is your money making money. But why wouldn't you have other people putting money in your investment account so your money can make money? That's what I, that's what anybody wealthy, there's a difference. The reason why this is a bit hard to accept is because we don't think the same. I don't think like the middle class. And what's happening, but not for all, for some, is you just reject by natural reaction. If it don't work for you, put it down. Go do your minimum or just attend classes. But if you want to retire, that's how you do it. Final words on this topic before we move on to point two is from Daryl. Daryl, put a bow on it. Anything you want to say in your own heart and right, you got the final words on this one. The only thing that I would say, Antonio, is that whatever you decide to do in terms of building customers through the network, that's obviously your choice. But there's another part, and that's for another training, that you will learn how simple it is. I think that will help a lot of people make a decision as it relates to that part. The other thing I would say is whatever you're doing, make sure that you use this model. Because when I seen the model, I've been writing my bills down for years. And I, and I just write what they are, and then I go down and I'm going to pay it based on the money I make. But I didn't necessarily have this stream of income going to that area. It was just everything put in one big pile. Now, some people are smarter than me. They figured this thing out a long time ago. But that's the way I did it. That's the way I taught my kids. And so when, when you shared this with me, I said, wow, number one, it's good for me. Number two... Mm -hmm. It would be good for the network because we That's typically right. try to tell people what you should do. You should do this, John. You should do this, uh, Michelle. But the reality is the only thing that's going to move you is what you need to do for you. Oh. That makes sense. That makes sense. This whole 57 minutes was a you conversation, not a me not a Phil, not a Susan. It was a you conversation, not an ATS. We'll train you later and all that stuff. This was to promote you. Everybody got it? Mm -hmm. Now, would you like to take you further? Yes. yes. Pam Norris says, please, don't ever stop yes. giving it to me, Antonio. Yes. I'm always Absolutely. Please. I came, I came here. I woke up at 3 o'clock in the morning for this. All right, that's what she said. I want to show you something now. What I'm going to do is I am going to share my screen. We're getting ready to talk about the three. You, you, you're more than welcome back. Yes, you're more than welcome. Appreciate you. I just, I just didn't want you to miss that. Today is Brian's wife's birthday. Yes. Yes, yes. And my youngest son's birthday as well. He's on the couch, sleep. He sleep. We've been up all night. He was, he was, Having fun. <laughs> he was having fun all night, the day before his birthday. And so we're letting Brian get out of here early because his wife just got off of work. And I don't want no part of that, Daryl. I don't, I don't want no part of that. <laughs> you go ahead and spend time with your wife as I don't want to get in trouble. There we go. Now, three and three technique. I'm explaining what it is, but let me share my screen. This is my name globally in Google Trends. This isn't a Google search. This is far different than a Google search. Google Trends, I'm not, I'm not even sure how to tell you. I'm, just please know if you type in my name on Google Trends, And the second quarter of 2018, I was trending at a hundred. At a 99, quarter three, that's fourth quarter. At 97, 
Like this, a few months ago. A 97, November, December, 97. Google, January this year, a 97. Is, is that, I don't know, let me, maybe I don't, what is Google Trends? Let's see. Google Trends is a search, it, Google Trends is a search trends feature that shows how frequently a given search term is entered into Google search engine relative to the site's total search volume over a given period of time. I'm gonna let's say, let's say we can rewind and press play. This is search trends, because Google is the largest algorithm in the world, yes? yes. It's one of the oldest technology algorithms in the world. It's the largest search engine in the world. It's the most accurate to follow trends. And they're saying in our largest search engine in the whole world that reaches the whole world, all continents, countries you ain't even been to yet, it shows how much a search term, in this case, Antonio T. Smith Jr.'s name, was entered into what? Google search engine. Do you get it? Try this again. In Google Trends, this is different from Google. This is how Google Trends is telling you that two months ago, compared to all their searches, 97% of their searches over a period of time, with this a week, of anyone named Antonio, I was at a 97%. I'm not telling you that to brag. I'm introducing that to you so we can talk about the three, three, and three technique. There are things that I do that are unscalable that make people fall in love with me and search me. Some of you are attempting to cookie cut everything. And no one gets, no one falls in love with a cookie cutter. Yes. The three and three tech, actually before I, wait, let's talk about it. the three and three technique works like this here. You should write this down. Now remember, this is how, what was the name of this class? How to retire with the ATS Business University Network. Now, I was nice. I gave you the money first, didn't I? This time I said lead generation. Remember, I said that at the very beginning. It's split in two. Money, lead generation. Money, lead generation. Yes? Here's what's going to happen. Pam Norris, do you have the ability? Are you on your laptop? Yes, I do. Yes, I am. Okay. Do you know how to share your screen? No. <laughs> if you look at the bottom, well, well here's what you want to do first. What you uh -huh. want to do first is take down your social security number, <laughs> the passwords to your bank account, although I would love those things. We don't want to see those. So you want to take all that stuff down and just open up Facebook for me. I'm going to use you as a volunteer to actively do what I'm about to teach. Who else oh, wants Lord. to volunteer? Oh, Lord. Grace okay. says she wants to volunteer. So what we'll do is we'll start with Grace, Pam, okay. and then we'll let and that'll give you a chance to, to delete stuff and also catch up with her example. So Grace, get ready. Okay, get ready, Grace. Let me explain. You're going to do three. Do we have a financial healing class already made? No, I guess I had to make one. Someone just requested for me to make a financial. Yes, yes, I do. It's called Plant Better Financial. The person who asked me that class. If you go to Plant Better Financial, that's a financial healing class. It sure is. Now, 
three and three technique set. Three is three, three, and three. I'm maxed it out. That means you're gonna go, write this down, to three different Facebook walls. Now you say happy birthday. Like that. You say happy birthday. Paul, except for saying happy birthday, you're gonna do this here. Josh, I really love that post. And the content on your page is phenomenal. I'm looking forward to consuming more of your content. Keep it up. Now, is that better than, hey, Josh, buy for me? Are you, are you, are you making it a template? Okay, she wants, she wants to write it word for word. Let's do Robin this time. Hey, Robin. Hey. If you want to, hey, hey, I'm just using a template. I'm using that as an example. You ain't got to talk. She wanted, since when I spoke it, she said, wow, that's pretty good. Can you say it again so I can, so if you want this message, <laughs> then here it is, I'll do it again. Hey, Robin, I really enjoyed that video. It was phenomenal. In fact, comma, I enjoy all of your content. Please keep it coming. Thanks. Hope to connect with you soon. Got it? So you put it in chat. Good. That's a genuine message. I'm not lying. You should probably consume their content first. Now, did I ask them about me? Yep. Did I go? How many of you ever on, on Facebook you got a happy birthday and they just said HBD? Sure. Yeah. 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 HBD equals WTF. Okay. It's disrespectful. You, you, couldn't, you, can't, you can't type out happy birthday for me? And then how many of you got happy birthday but they didn't even say your name? It's like, come on. Yeah. You get it? Because there's a different culture now, right? We have a different culture about how we communicate, and we know that was real lazy of you. Your thumbs can't honor me. You get it? That's how you're going to respond on three different people's walls. The key here is, Robin, is it's three unique people. They, not the same person three times. Three unique people. I'm going to post this for Chantel, post it for Daryl, and post it for Susan. Of course, each time, I'm going to change the message up a little bit. That template shouldn't be copied and pasted. Get it? You can just change it up a little bit. That's all. That's all. You don't want the algorithm. So you ever see somebody share, like sometimes when I share multiple groups that I have I shared this link in some other groups. So you can see all of it in one little section. You don't want to see Deanna post on this many people's wall. It's the same message. It loses its gen genuosity. Or that's not even a word, but authenticity. Genuosity is not a word, but we're going to make it work. Three unique people. Everybody got me so far? The next thing you're going to do is you're going to go to three unique inboxes. Not the same people you just put on their walls. Would you like another template? Michelle? Hey, Michelle. This is my first time reaching out to you. I just want to say you're amazing. You are one of the few people on Facebook that I enjoy when you come across my timeline. Thank you very much for being who you are. I'm honored to be your friend. Sit. That's it. She put it in the, the, the chat with a little smiley face. You're going to put that in three different people's inboxes. 
That one you kind of can copy and paste because it's individually in people's inboxes. Get it? Now, you're going to go to three different people's comments. You're not going to be able to copy and paste the comments. This takes a little effort. Talisha, you're going to say, Antonio. This, actually, you know what? I don't have to do that. Pam Norris does it great. Pam Norris will get on my post and literally say something that was in the video. You know what? That makes sense. The way you just taught that, well, it's not taught that often. This is exactly why I follow Antonio T. Smith Jr. And if anyone of y'all can see this post, you need to be following him too. You should have wrote that down. <laughs> this is what you put. This was amazing. Next sentence, put in parentheses, say something that happened in the video or post or comment, okay? Say something that happened in the content. Let's put content, that'll make it shorter. Parentheses, close parentheses. Now I'm just, just busting me a Pam noise, okay? This is exactly why I follow you. And if anyone else sees this, you ought to be following him or her too. Following them too. No, no, it's fine. If you want to copy and paste. That's it. That's a genuine comment. Feel me? You just switch it up. You, you just switch it up. Now, did you see how all the comment, I mean the comment, or the inbox or the wall post, they all added value. Yes. Can you also, now how many of you have been on social network long enough to know those few sentences? That took a little effort, didn't it? And we can see through the BS, can't we? Mm -hmm. We know the difference between great. Great makes you look like a bot. Awesome. Get it? Now, here's the side effects of this. I should say the harvest. That's three conversations a day. Those are what you call quality conversations. Someone on my team who wants to, I'm, I'm going to put, put you on the spot. There's someone in front of me on my team. So that's Deanna, Michelle, and Grace. Who wants to volunteer to answer the question I'm about to put you on the spot with? Michelle, put her hand up first. She doesn't know what I'm about to ask. Michelle, Michelle what creates what create clients? clients? Conversations. Okay, say it out loud. Conversations create clients, relationships. All right, there you go. If you didn't, if hear, you didn't hear her, write down in your notes, conversations create clients. If you're in business, and you're not creating conversations, I can guess the dollar amount your business made. Jerome, you're your brand. You are your brand. How many unique conversations have you started this month? I've done, I've done a couple, but not three, three, and three. And I've heard that. Okay. Before. But you sold some books, though, haven't you? Absolutely. <laughs> and how did you sell those books? Did you just, did you use the force and, you know, Darth Vader those books and be like, mm, you do that? No. The, based on what you've been teaching us about, um, people not seeing your post when you send out that first time, I know that this month alone, I have resent my, to Amazon, because my website still isn't up yet. I know I've sent that out four times um, on different occasions. And I talked to some folks who told me, oh, yes, I did go to Amazon and purchase a book. Johnny Wimbry said that uh, out of the, all of the people that are co-writers, um, I'm number five in sales on Amazon. So, but they, they only send the money out once a year. Good five. stuff. Good stuff. Now, you will be number one if you start striking conversations. What, what he's doing is he's using traffic he cannot control to sell or traffic he does not control. 
there's three types of traffic. Number one, well, actually, let's do it in descending order. Number three, traffic you do not control. Number two, traffic you do control. Number one, traffic you own. The goal is to get all that traffic to traffic you own. What Jerome said he's doing is he posted on Facebook traffic you control. Traffic you control is when you buy ads. What Jerome is saying, you know what I did? I just posted four times. I realized you taught me about the algorithm. He did right. He used the worst kind of traffic possible to become number five in Amazon set. Let's clap again. Traffic you control costs money. You know how to make it free? Strike a conversation. I, I do a variation of that, and I'm building in for the long run. Uh, I'm, about to take it the, I'm about to take it to the next step and create additional conversations. But I've been doing that all along in responding to people's posts, sending them little messages, yep. thanking them for sharing information and my takeaway from what they've posted in both their videos and their postings. So I've been doing a variation of all three for some time now, and I'm about to kick it up to the next level and turning that into money. Yeah. And that's exactly why you're getting all the attention that you're getting. You understand what I'm saying? Like that's exactly why. You're getting all the attention that you're getting is because you are crazy enough to be nice to people and respond back when they comment. I can't tell you how many people I see that do not comment. It baffles me. If someone posted on your post, why are you not responding? You are not that big. Antonio? Yes, sir. That's that's something else that I've learned from you as well that I didn't do, but I didn't do it out of being lazy and I didn't do it out of, of being callous. It was like, oh, somebody commented, great. And I'm like, you know, and if it was somebody I knew, I went, I may say, hey, thank you or something like that. But I didn't do that before. But from what I've learned from the ATSB, that's how you strike up a conversation. And as a result that's of it. that, I get friend requests, I get people that are, that are comment. Oh, Jerome, blah, blah, blah. and I'm going, who's that? And I'm like, oh, but but the other day um, when we did the uh, keynote, that when you put that advertisement up, mm -hmm. there were people like, who's and I'm trying to keep up with, you know, p the people's comments and not just liking and not just the heart, but actually saying something in response to what they said or the fact that they mm -hmm. commented. And that's something that I have to learn because it's conditioning, okay? And so I was treating, yeah. I was treating social media like a lot of people, and that's why I don't, that's why I'm broke. <laughs> so, so let me give you some that. incentive. Let me give you some incentive to do it. Every time they comment, social media, y'all should write this down. All social media platforms are moving to where comments matter the most. Not likes or shares. If you didn't know that, I'm telling you right now, by the end of this year, or actually, I would, I'd say you're already there. Likes and shares don't mean nothing no more. You know why? Because we got bots out here that can do all that. You, you can tell your friends to share. It takes a lot of effort to leave a comment in our so fast, lazy world. And Robin ain't trying to drop no comment unless she mean it. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Look at you. See her laughing? Look. She ain't, she not fake. Feel like ain't got time to just compliment you for no reason. They know comments is what people actually value. And people not coming off comments. You give out your email address before you give out a comment. It, it, it's interesting. Lately, uh, there's somebody who posts all the time, and her 
audience is mainly other females, but I like her comment, her content. So I do post comments to what she's been posting. And she now, when she does a massive post, you know, lit, saying I'm included all these people on there. And the other day she posted something and it was like 44 women and me. And I reached out to Look her. Look at that. And I reached out to her and I said, did you accidentally include me? And she replied back, no brother, because you respond to what I'm doing, I'm including you in as one of the sisters. And, mm. uh, <laughs> or... I it's like I paid him to say that. <laughs> <laughs> It's the three, but he, he, he said earlier, I've been doing this. There's a variation of it. I didn't know you do it this way, but I've been doing it my own way. Yeah. And it works. Now, do you think that he now has a relationship with this? She calls him brother, right? Mm -hmm. Brother, you wanted a sister. Come on, y'all. That's powerful. That's powerful. John's going to fool around and be on stage. Or at least they'll buy from each other. But conversations create clients. Great job, John. That is, and that's fantastic. But you know what? This deserves another clap because ain't nobody doing it. Damn. Good job. That's it. That's how you grow your business. You must do stuff that doesn't scale. You understand that John can't put these meaningful comments out there with some program. Even if the program works for one type of post, that don't mean people are typing the same type of post all the time. He, John is doing things that don't scale to grow his business. So when he's ready to start selling, those, all those sisters, he just gained 44 leads from being genuine in comment. And if that don't impact you, I don't know what to tell you. Now, Jerome, come back up, lean up. Let me get on you. Yeah, unmute your mic. Okay. Now, with the worst way possible, you are number five in sales. It's traffic you don't control. Woo! Yeah, it's a good job. We can clap on you. Yeah. Now, as infectious as your humor is, and everybody <laughs> loves Jerome. <laughs> If you actually strike a conversation, you're going to be number one. <laughs> I'm serious. <laughs> you, you have guilt. You've been guilty me as of late, too. I've got to start doing more videos. I've got to start posting them because I've got, I've got a message. I've got a so, but I want to be, yeah. you know what, Antonio? What, but what you've also taught me is you've taught me about being strategic. Don't don't do the shotgun approach. Make it strategic so that you will get more impact and and you hit your target. So that's that's right. Yeah. So. That's absolutely right. That's absolutely right. Yeah, you Jerome, can't, be, you can't comment. I was just, look, I was definitely say Jerome be more like John. I was definitely say that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, go ahead, well, John. <laughs> well, the key is is I don't comment just to comment. I mean, it hits. Everything in my life now is on an emotional level. So it's the, if your post hits me emotionally, that's how, why I respond in comment, is that you are hitting me on some level. And it's not just a money thing. I, money's going to come to me. I, I'm not worried about yeah. that. It's an emotional vibe for me that I'm going down. It, so, yeah, I, I comment because you've hit me emotionally. Wow. That's good stuff. That's good Thanks, stuff. Sir. That's good stuff. Yeah. I want y'all to pay attention. Now, I'm sure John ain't the only person out there doing that. John is protecting his timeline. I'm sure he doesn't add buffoonery on there. <laughs> yes. Go ahead, Grace. This morning and every morning when I'm getting, getting ready to come to the office, uh, it's just inevitable after I do the whole meditation thing and everything. I'm on the phone and on Facebook. And then one of the first things I always see is John, his post, words of encouragement. 
um, and right under the words of encouragement, it's just right spots out and some more words of encouragement. So, John, I just wanted to say thank you for the words of encouragement every morning because you never know what somebody is going through that day. And then they pick it up and they see John uh, message and it, it holds them for that day. John, you got I to second that, that John. I start my day yep. with you every morning here in Maui. You're the first thing I read. <laughs> and that's a real morning over there, John. That's a real morning. Yeah, yeah, she's six hours behind us. <laughs> that's a real morning. <laughs> Go ahead, John. I'm going to let you respond to that, brother. Get your roses while you yet live. And, and, and actually, I was going to be reaching out, Antonio, because I have, I realized in my notepad, I have 300 plus uh, race to 5,000s that I've done over the last year. And they're in a, wow. and they are in a, how I want to do the messages. Now I, I also have six to 900 that I've done before these last 300, but they're not in the structure that I want. So I'm about to wow. re release my race to 5,000 volume one. And then I'm going to start going All back right. to the other six to 900. And, um, Good stuff. Good stuff, brother. Two things I want you to do. There's suggestions. Allow them. So this is what I want. This is the suggestion I want you to do. And then you can give me feedback. Let me know if you want to do it. If you're in this situation, you should be listening to John. John, I want you to take those 300 that you already did, release them after volume one, like you said. And I want you to go back to number one. And I want you to do a short video over the first one. Mm. And a short video over the second one. And then gets all the way to 300 short videos. And then we release them. Wow. For one, you're going to say it differently than you wrote it. Two, they're not even going to remember it, that it was number one or number two. What you just did was you put out, you made 300 pieces of content, 600 pieces of content. Come on down. Video is the fastest way to build trust. And should you want to do so, strip the audio, they go podcast or make it a video podcast if you want to. Those are my two suggestions. What do you think about that, John? Well, what, what my plans are is, like you said, I'm going to go back and do videos. I've been dating them, but they don't need to be dated. And I'm just going to basically have a 365 days of your race to 5,000. I'm going to go back my to man. videos. And, but I, what I'm going to do for podcasts is I'm just going to have a race to 5,000 moment that others can include in their podcast as a moment of inspiration within the context of their, of their podcast. So it'll be content that they'll be able to add into their podcast. Good stuff, brother. That's good stuff. I find no fault in your plans. Rome's already clapping for you. That is good <laughs> stuff, man. So honestly, one more time, let's get some positive energy. Down. <laughs> That's what happens when you take the teachings of the HS Business University and your own teachings and your own experience and you move forward. Does that make sense to you? Mm -hmm. <laughs> All he's doing is taking our energy and making his energy more sniper life. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he ain't shoot no shotgun. He said, sniper shot all the way to Maui. Pam, you gonna see this this morning. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Grace, Texas, sniper shot. Since you involved with me, and he gonna do it enough? Wait till he sells something. I bet you Pam and Norris, Pam and Grace, two, two of the first people to buy. I bet you he's already established that relationship because conversations create clients with many people with many people with many people good job john it's insanely extremely proud of you it's no wonder why you're a vip member and you're getting certified like six seven times <laughs> during the certification so good for you buddy good for you definitely good for you now you got, oh, Jerome, I didn't finish getting on you, buddy. Oh, I didn't finish getting on you. Apologies. Now, 
all that conversation you got, not only will you be number one, but you will be applying all elements of the three and three technique. You will increase your income significantly if you simply open up and strike conversations and be yourself. I like that. You know, you were designed it like that because it's yourself. <laughs> you were designed to be yourself. You got as much of a choice with it like that one. Good stuff. Does everyone understand the three and three technique? Did I give you some templates? Yes. Now, I'm going to help you go. I'm going to help you convert now. The last 30 minutes is to help you convert while using the three and three technique. So let me tell you what we've done. If you're a note taker, for an hour, I explained to you how to retire. I explained to you to follow the business system. I just used the three and three technique to help you get the money to take out number 10, to get the money to take out number nine. Y'all yeah, can thank Daryl for this. He wanted he wanted me to do this here, so I'm doing it. Well, now I'm gonna teach you how to go viral. Because what's gonna happen with the three and three technique is you can't keep sh that lady that said, Oh no, brother, I've added you with the sisters. She went to his page and said, Who is this guy to keep showing me love? Let me make sure I vibe with him. And since he ain't had no gang signs on this page, I'm, you, if you think for one second this lady would tag him without going to his page, and that's the point of the three and three and three technique, it sends people to your page as a qualified customer, as a qualified lead. Why? Because you didn't ask them for nothing you added value mm -hmm. and when you added value to them over and over and over what it did was it made them come to your page interested to discover who you are does everyone see the point mm -hmm. the three and three technique let me give you some data if you use what I said every day you will create 3,285 individual conversations over a year. Give me that number. 3,285 individual conversations in a year. If 10%, the worst percentage you can possibly get of them become customers, that's 329 customers. Do you know how much it's going to cost you to do a Facebook ad to, do three, to get 329 customers? If you're unfamiliar, that's, that could be, that could go, depending on what you're selling, depending on your price, but on the average product, and you know what you're doing with ads, that's $25,000 worth of ads yeah let's let's do it this way do let's say you're selling a product for a hundred bucks mm -hmm. then what's 329 times 100 32,900 32, that means i spent 25,000 to make a seven thousand dollar profit that's fair mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. you get it and i can keep doing that every month and i'll always be in surplus so I, I use real numbers. I need you to get that the three and three technique is equivalent to a $25,000 ad over a year. If, okay, before I move on, Daryl, unmute your mic. Tell them why you were so impressed with this. And I, I just mentioned it for like 10 minutes, 20 minutes. Tell them why you wanted me to teach this and why you were so impressed with this. Well, number one is because of what we're doing in the network. Because most people uh, don't know what they're doing on uh, Facebook, including myself. I'm still learning. And, and as, as it relates to building a network, they don't know 
how to actually talk to people because the problem, even if they did, the, the message changes every time someone else gets it. So when you teach a very simple technique that can be duplicated down through an organization and they spend an hour or whatever it is a day doing it, those numbers cr increase exponentially through that person's organization. You start with one person or two people and that can grow so incredibly fast. And so when I seen that, I said, we, we've got to teach people this to get them started. And that's just only the beginning, as you know, of what happens after they continue to, uh, to move through and contact people. So there you go. Now, before we had, I'm asking one more, same question, I'm asking it from a different angle. Before we had the, what we're doing now, when you were here six months ago and you heard it, what impression did it have on you as, some, as a baby boomer learning the internet, learning social media and how you can take your own product from social media? So I'm basically asking you to be selfish this time. And why was it for you? Hey, let me think about that. Good. Well, number one, I didn't know what to do. So I didn't even have, you know, I was just out like most people just posting. Uh, and I've learned something today even about this process that I didn't know. So, but for <laughs> me as a baby boomer, okay, getting out, trying to sell my wares as a chef, uh, as a nutritionist, the approach, I was just everywhere, you know, uh, changing every day. But this gave me something that I could zero in on. So I knew now uh, if, if someone's birthday came up to, to make sure I said happy birthday or mm. if someone sent me a friend request that I thanked them for the friend request. And as John was doing with, in my case, no strategic plan, I was just starting because I'm learning at least to comment and, and getting interaction. And I, what I think I started with the university, I had like 600 friends and now it's like 2500 and it and i started wow. facebook in 2009 so in 2009 it took me six i got 600 people what eight nine years and then the mm. next you know, next few months but you know of course i've had to go back and delete a lot of people because of the nonsense mm -hmm. i was just wasn't even screening i was just accepting everybody <laughs> yeah you know so <laughs> yeah but yeah. I do have a question before, before you move on. Sure. On the third sure. comment, it was three different uh, uh, comments, right? What was the uh, you, the template for that on the third one? On the on the comment. Oh, oh okay, on the third one. Yeah, I, I say comments. This was amazing, and then you're going to say something about their comment. Okay, got it. I, I mean, excuse me, about the content. So you're going to say, this was an amazing video. In the video, you said how you're a nutritionist and how we can use these vegetables to bring our blood cholesterol down. Fantastic. I needed that as I am on a different, on the health journey now. And then you, right, and then you go, this is exactly what I, this is exactly why I follow you. And if anybody else sees this, I recommend Dow De La Hunty. Just like that. Yes, sir. Um, you said something just now for me that I didn't hear before, and and I and I and I, and I hope it yeah. helps other folks. I've heard you go. I've heard you say the three, three, and three before, and when I heard it before, I went, "Oh, okay, that's nice. Yeah, that can generate some whatever." <laughs> but I'm, I'm just saying how I process it mentally. But then today, Antonio. You said something I hadn't heard you say before. You said when you generate that conversation without selling, without sending up that red flag that I want you to buy something, people are going to go to your page to figure out who you are. Now, here's the part that got me. I said, Jerome, since you've been on Facebook, when's the last time you updated your page? Because when people go to your page, mm. you want them to see a picture of you. What so? And you now say, now you just maybe I got to go back to my Facebook page because I know there's some things.
to change around. So I just wanted to say mm. that, that it isn't just them going to your page, but what are they going to find when they get to your page? Because that right. is what you want to help to, to, to do the sale later on. So I just wanted to say I, that, sir. I, I want That's to right. In on that. And I'm getting ready to teach that, too. Go ahead. Go ahead, John. So, so this is what you see when you go to my personal page. Even if you're not a friend, all my posts are all public. And all you see on my page, even if you're not a friend of mine, is me p picking you up and telling you uh, all my race to 5,000s in there and my daily posts of uh, beginning today. Now I want you to do, you know, take this under advisement. And all my posts are public and positive spins to them. If somebody tries to share something to my timeline that is negative in any, any manner, it hangs in timeline or view hell and will never <laughs> see the light of day. Fair enough. <laughs> you and me both. That timeline review purgatory. <laughs> <laughs> it is hell, that's for sure. Good. You get it. And Jerome now knows because people are going to come to you. And I mean, that's why I'm going to teach you how to go viral. But that's what I meant. Because now that, they're, now that you're using the three and three technique, they're going to see, well, man, this Daryl guy keeps showing me love. Who is Daryl? Because he's already, you do know we ignore everybody until we think they deserve our time. You understand? We do that. Now, Daryl has made it through the crowd and now caught my attention. Now, I say, this young man, this Daryl, he deserves my time. Let me go see. How many of y'all have gone and visited someone's Facebook page recently? This, how many of y'all have typed in someone's name and literally went to their wall and then start going down their information? Okay? I do it all That's the time. That's about everybody. Everybody does all the time. Now watch this here. How short is that list? Oh yeah. Compared to your friends list. Oh. How short is that list? Yeah. Yeah. 1%. <laughs> you say one percent. These are the people that you have determined. Yeah, I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm going to these people because they match you. You get it? Mm -hmm. Last thing I want to say about this before I teach you how to go viral. Here's what's lovely about this. This three. And Darren's gonna love this, because I never told him this here. This three, three and three technique, at the 42, at the hour and 42 minute mark, say that just so you can go back, it works on all social media. Hmm. All of it. I didn't just teach you how to do Facebook. I taught you how to do all of them. All of them. LinkedIn has an inbox, doesn't it? All of them. Some platforms you won't necessarily be able to do a wall post, but it has a version of it. Or you can leave a comment on their story, which is a whole fourth element you didn't think about. Snapchat has a DM. Instagram has a DM. Mm -hmm. This works on all social media. If you do two social medias this way, let's just say you do Facebook and LinkedIn. Grace, do, do 3,285 times two for me, please. Sixty-five seventy, six thousand five hundred and seventy 6,570 conversations you would have created. If you get a 10% conversion rate, which is terrible, you can't even do anything with that. At 657 new customers. How many of you can benefit from 657 new customers right now? The truth is, some of you are a small business for real. You can't even handle 657 new customers. If you get 657 new customers in your organization, first off, you'll have a new tax bracket for sure. Secondly, you have a personal assistant. You would need one. Yeah, better equipment, better software, everything. Now, here's how you go viral. Here's how you so solve Jerome's problem. Now that I know John is coming to my page, I need him to see something. You know who does this pretty good? Chantel does this pretty good. She does the, she, 
she does the first part pretty good. I'll show it to you. I want to teach you now about friend score. You probably heard me say it, but I'm giving it to you in detail. Friend score, yes. Friend score. Got me? Friend score is pretty simple. V stands for value. V would have V. <laughs> no, that friend. <laughs> v stands for value. R stands for rarity. I stands for inimitable. I N I. Well, I do it like the army. India, November, India. Mike, India, Tango, Alpha, Bravo, Lima, Echo. Uh, N stands for non substitutional. Hey, okay. everybody got it? Now, what does that mean, Antonio? Right now, you just gave me data with no interpretation. Good. Let's get your some interpretation going on. Yes? Outstanding. I'm copying, I mean, I'm typing interpretation in the notes right now. Value means, does this post create value for my audience? That's what I said Chantel does the first part right. Chantel has a way of doing a video and this realness that you don't really get to, she's got this New York realness. I can't really describe it. And she's talking to her audience. She ain't talking to y'all half the time. She's talking to who she's trying to reach, but it brings high value. She's sniper approaching her audience, but it's high value to them. She's speaking their language. This is why I'm so hard on y'all about what well, baby boomers feel this way. Millennials feel this way. Stop that. Because just because you have a language doesn't mean it's valuable to your audience. I keep trying to tell you that. But said, I mean, Chantel says, yes, yes, it's intentional. Yes. Your job is to speak your, your market's language, not yours. Rare it is, how rare is this post on this platform? That's important. I'm going to make it all make sense. How rare? Can I find, how many of y'all have coaches on your timeline? Come on, it's, it's every last one of y'all, right? Coaches on your timeline. <coughs> then, now watch this. That's every last one, right? I'm, watch me say out something else that's even more. How many of you have marketing experts on your timeline? Okay, <laughs> they all on your timeline. They all on your timeline, right? Just a marketing consultant, and if you want a, a brand consultant, something like that. They all on your timeline, all on your timeline. And here's what happens: they get ignored. Why? Because they're talking about stuff you could have googled. Mm -hmm. Is anything I've covered in the hour and forty-eight minutes Googleable? Mm -hmm. yep. No. There's not a single thing I've said that you can Google. I specialize. If you watch one of my videos I put on Facebook, I specialize in making sure you can't Google what I just said. Why? It's, it's like, like Chantel said, it's intentional. And I'll show you why. And admittable. Is it easy to copy this content? It is difficult to copy my content. Difficult. For one, you got to be a data nerd. Two, you actually got to let John Lewinsky and them talk whenever they feel like it. Most people can't handle that. Then, you, since I do Q&A all the time, you got to then be ready for a question you might not be ready for. You know how many people will buckle under a Q&A? 
or how many people can keep Pam Norris up at three in the morning, two hours. She got to go home and take a nap after this shit. <laughs> brain already tired, and I'm getting it tired with information overload and admittable. It means, can I replace this content? Non-substitutional. How easy it is for me to change this with something else, more interesting. If I get on there and say, Daryl Dilla Hunty, I'm a brand expert. I want to teach you how to, give, give me one of the things you brand experts say. It's all the same thing. I want to teach you how to market to your audience. Okay? That's everywhere, isn't it? You can go and Google right now and go, how about market to my audience? Get it? <laughs> now, are you going to watch that video if you can find it anywhere? No. You know why? Please. Please hear my next statement. Because subconsciously, you understand there's not enough time in the day. We live in a different world now. Subconsciously, Jerome understands. I don't care what class you, you could be baby boomer or whatever, above baby boomer. Your great, great, great grandmother could be alive. Or you could be my seven-year-old son had just turned seven today. It's only to so much time you get to hold your phone in your hand. And you got to choose now between what you're going to view online and which TV show you're going to watch. Mm -hmm. It's the side effect of us having so much information at us. It's a term for it. It's called decision fatigue. Mm -hmm. Y'all... In the world we live in now, by 9 o'clock in the morning, you already tired of making decisions. <laughs> Am I lying? Okay, I, I, I'll prove it to you. How many of you have got a phone call come in and you looked at it and said, I, 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 can't, I can't answer this right now? <laughs> come on. <laughs> I can't answer this right now. And it's, it's not somebody that you don't mind. You said this in your head. They're going to talk longer than what I want. Okay. Come on. Talk back to me now. No, they ain't like, you, you, you understand what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. but, and it's not that you're being rude. Life has changed. Everybody wants your attention. And what you do now, Jerome, is you protect your attention at all costs. You protect your attention at all costs. And you only paying attention to who you say deserves my doggone attention. Go ahead, John Lewinsky. So I'm strategic in the way I've taken my race to 5,000 in that I open it up with a question do you realize? And I throw something for you to start thinking about. And then a middle paragraph, kind of pulling it all together. And I always end it with, now, today, this is what I want you to do. So that's how I capture your attention. I get you a, with a question that gets you thinking. And then I drive you to an action plan. And I'm very strategic. You get three paragraphs. And you can read it off two minutes and you move on. Is the way I'm that's right. Because you get, I ain't trying to spend 15 minutes on this reading. <laughs> I would have bought a book today if I was. <laughs> I mean, at this point, we carry around books and we, we have every intention to read it. Mm -hmm. Actually, not. You know what, Daryl, Dar here's a better example. Daryl was trying, he just said it in another Zoom call we was on. He was trying to watch a TV show for three days. Finally got around to it. Not that he didn't have time for the show. Other stuff kept popping up that he needed to put time for that was more important. The show ain't making no money. All right. All right. So we now live in a world where it takes us three days to sit still for 90 minutes. If you're not catching this conceptually, you're losing your customers. Okay? Now, let's put more meat on this brand. I'm going to do this again. Actually, I'm going to take, I'm going to take the way Grace posted it. 
And this is what I'm going to do now. So how do you use this brand? Chantel wants to know. She's saying, man, I know this. I get it automatically. But if you can just put some meat on it so I can get this million dollar idea, that would be great. So your brand scores, this is what you need to do. Type in it. Every single thing that you do, henceforth, Jerome, because remember, that three and three technique is going to create you a problem. What's the problem? They come into your page. Okay. That's, that's, that's the problem. <laughs> All that love you showing. <laughs> it's great. The unintended side effect, which is, who is Jerome? <laughs> we need to solve this problem. Look at what I just posted in chat. The way you use the friend score. Yeah, y'all not going to find this, though. I'm telling you not. The way you use the friend score, and, and trust me, social media does the same. Well, anyway is is this post going to have a value of 10 if if you go less than eight don't post it i don't post anything that has less than eight value anything that has less than eight rarity anything that has less than eight inimitable what does that mean again how hard is the copy? How hard is the copy me? Can you copy running for president of the United States? No, no. That's correct, kind of hard. I'm just saying. Just in case y'all wanted, I really am running for president of the United States. Okay. Now, the thing about that, can, can that be copied? No. Can you copy any, most of what I do? No. If it falls under, if it's at a seven, if I deem it at a seven, I won't post it. Look at the way I taught this class. I told you up front, the same way Phil told you about <laughs> the way you do your keto. I told you up front, here's what we're going to do, ladies and gentlemen, and I repeated it for three minutes. And I let everybody, every time somebody else got on, I repeated it again. It's split in two sections. And the second section is split in two sections. Okay? Two sections. And it's all matched together. I told you how to get the money. Then I taught you how to get attention to pay off that money. I'm teaching you how to stand out in the crowd. All for the first thing we cover for a whole hour. That's why we cover the first thing for an hour and these next two for 30 minutes apiece. The whole class is strategic. How easy is it for that to be duplicated? Not so easy. Now, if you post, when Chantel posts her next video, Chantel now needs to say, is the content in this video value? You can go on a rant and have it valuable. You can type, I'm just going live with you just talking. As long as it's valuable, you'll be fine. Mm -hmm. Now, is it rare? Am I talking about, let me tell you how to market to your audience. How rare is that? Rare. Let, me talk, let me tell you how to market to white baby boomers who still have jobs. How rare is that? Now, won't you click that video? You see the difference? Mm -hmm. when, you, when you go deep and narrow, you're in the rarity now. Treat your keynotes that way, ladies and gentlemen. Treat your keynotes that way. Go deep and narrow, not wide and shallow. That's what most every people do. Make sure it's not hard to copy. And then make sure you can't change it. Would you watch this video? Would you watch a video of me surfing? Because I don't really surf much. So that's kind of, you know, but you, but you'll, but you'll still say, I'll come back next to it. Now, would you watch this video? Me surfing and some Speedos with a turtle in my right hand and a beer in my left hand with a dolphin chasing me. Yeah. You would absolutely watch that video because everything about that sounds crazy. Mm -hmm. Everything about that is irreplaceable. You can't substitute, first off, me and Speedos Somebody screenshot that, and I'm going viral on that alone. 
Come look at this fool. He didn't even a little chicken leg. Look at this fool. He ain't even he didn't even shave. He got hair all over his thighs. What's wrong with him? Right? All that. But all that crazy conversation. Now, would I do this? No, 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 no. I do this. The boy ain't even put on no lotion. Now, I'm, now I'm, I'm good for that. I'm good for that. I lotion what you can see. You understand? I'm, I'm good for that. Okay. But all of that. <laughs> well, you light skin. You ain't got to wear my lotion problem. Yeah. I wash my hands and I'm at you. <laughs> but do you see how. Yes, we do. Do you see how rare that is that's a post that will go viral why because it's absolutely insane why is it insane because some why why he got where you get this turtle from like people are going to talk about it's like 50 different things yeah first of all somebody gonna say first of all it's so much going on here let me dissect this part first and if somebody you can talk about the turtle and somebody go look at my ankles. This boy ankles is ashy. <laughs> and somebody go blow up the picture of my feet. Yeah. Look at that. He need a pedicure. You, you, all that, right? All that. Because it's so much in that Ren score that matches up to. Is it valuable? For laughter, yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> if I was going for comedy, it's extremely valuable. Now, I want you to pay attention to that because that's how people go viral. And that's what works on Instagram. There are pages on Instagram that are insanely. If you've never, anybody ever heard of Dude Perfect? Mm -hmm. Everything about that is 10 on a brand score. If you don't know what Dude Perfect is, I dare you to YouTube Dude, D U D E, Perfect. I dare you. They do all the trick shots, all the trick shots, and they get paid millions of dollars to do this. At this point, if they are not playing with their friends, you know, they used to call it uh, wasting time. They get paid to waste time. So if they actually be serious, they're going to lose money. Mm -hmm. Antonio T. Smith Jr., you can plant better. You can dominate. Thank you, everybody. Appreciate you. This is on the Freshman. How do you retire using the ATS Business Network? Go on, take you a nap, Pam Norris. You've been up since two or something. I don't know. Appreciate y'all. <laughs>